Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Noor's Kitchen Connection. Today I'll be making a very delicious and tempting chicken naan. ये बहुत ही ईजीली बन जाते हैं बहुत ही मज़ेदार हैं और बिलीव मी दे आर रियली रियली नाइस एंड टेंटिंग इसके लिए आपको वेरी बेसिक इन्ग्रीडियंट्स रिक्वायर हैं नॉट एज मच कॉम्प्लिकेटेड प्रोसीजर टू बी फॉलोड और आप इसमें आप बहुत ही आसानी से इट कैन बी सर्व एज इन लंच डिनर्स और यू कैन हैव इट एज अ ब्रांच इफ यू आर हैविंग सम गेस्ट Uh, expected to be there at your home. So do try this recipe. अगर आप लोग चैनल पर नए हैं तो डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड इफ़ यू लाइक द वीडियो डू लाइक द वीडियो एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिकॉज योर कमेंट्स आर रियली रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड मीनिंगफुल फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ माई चैनल एंड माई मोटिवेशन ऑफकोर्स इन ऑर्डर टू शेयर मच इंटरेस्टिंग एंड डिलीशियस रेसिपीज विद यू ऑल so let's try making these delicious chi- chicken naans with a very special and simple uh, method and that is we'll first of all start by making the chicken filling first of all we'll take oil in a pan i've taken round about 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil and then boneless chicken in cut it into cubes i've already washed it and so now add the chicken into the oil keep the heat medium to low and now we'll be adding some basic ingredients very very minimal and these are freshly ground pepper 1 teaspoon 1 teaspoon cumin seeds 1 teaspoon salt or you can add salt according to your taste and in addition to this we'll be adding some garlic powder you can also add fresh garlic crushed to it but i've taken 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of fresh garlic powder and then comes the paprika powder which is fumed and it means that it has got some barbecue fragrance in it after adding the paprika powder to this we'll be mixing it homogeneously So now look we've mixed the chicken and uh, it has started turning its color to a bit whitish So look the chicken has started to turn into whitish we've turned the sides look at the spices had also given such nice color and uh, once the chicken is all done we'll check if the meat is tender yes it is well tender now we'll keep it aside to let it cool which we will use afterwards at this point you can turn off the flame and keep it aside Once it is cool we'll shred it like this and now we'll be adding some basic and some additional ingredients to it and these are one finely chopped onion then freshly washed and cut it mint you can also add coriander to it it is optional but it gives a very nice and refreshing taste once you added the mint to it we will be mixing all these together just a slight mix so our chicken filling for the naan is ready we'll keep it aside and now we'll be preparing the dough as we as i've already prepared the dough and i've mentioned the preparation of the dough many times in my channel i'll give the link for this you can see that that how i prepared the dough i made this dough 3 uh, to 4 hours earlier 
it is all well prepared now we'll be cutting it into eight equal halves like this so once all these halves are equally uh, cutted we will be making some rounded balls with it like this and then we'll grease the surface the working area with a little bit of oil so that it doesn't sticks to the surface and it works nicely and smoothly we'll flatten up with a rolling pin and now we'll be adding the chicken filling to it in the mid of this flat bread So now the chicken filling is totally optional about uh, if you want to uh, nicely filled uh, naans you can add a nice amount of it and over the top we'll be adding some parmesan cheese the grated cheese it will give a nice and uh, flavorful touch to these naans it is optional if you want to quit it's totally not a problem you can quit it So now we'll be folding this naan in the manner that the sides of the naan will start gathering the sides of it in a little bit like this small steps and we'll do it with the entire bread like this so that the filling is nicely sealed within it look now we'll spread it with the help of oily fingers and then we'll have some uh, rounded shape on it and finally we'll be sprinkling sprinkling some kalonji seeds and some sesame seeds on top of these naans and at the same time we've kept our pan at a low heat we'll add some butter to it and now it's the time for the naan to be cooked so we'll sprinkle some kalonji and sesame seeds over it make sure that the heat is medium to low but don't keep the heat high so that it cooks nicely and in a well equalized manner we'll cover it a little bit and after a few minutes we'll check out and we'll turn out the side so that the other side is also nicely cooked and color is nicely golden brown yes it is perfectly done so it is this is the time we can turn it around At this point also we'll add some butter or margarine so that it is evenly golden So after few minutes of covering it we will check our naan that what is the condition of it we will check it out The process is a bit slow because we need to uh, cook the naan nicely and evenly Wow it is beautifully golden the way we wanted so now we can 
turn it around and it's the time for the naan to be served you can serve it with the uh, right of your choice or uh, fresh pickles oil pickles they goes very well with it and uh, your kids your family and your guests will definitely love them look how tempting they are Now let's cut them uh, into four halves and let me show the final results and after tasting it I'll let you know that how does it taste So I have served it with the uh, uh, oil pickles and they goes very well, well with it so let me taste it along with that Mmm it is very tasty so see you in another good recipe till then take good care of yourselves and your loved ones allah hafiz